Hello, today for review I've got uh, interesting Kenya monitors, they are made by FLC Technologies. Probably everyone knows uh, this company because they really changed our expectations about hybrid models and about sound tuning. Their FLC 8S and, and so on series became a real success. But then they've decided to release more affordable models and uh, they've announced uh, series of dynamic driver models that they've named DD21, 31 and probably there, there is 41 but I didn't see it in, in the shops. So today for review I've got DD31, it's single dynamic driver in air monitors with a special acoustic chamber, so sophisticated tuning and so on. In terms of specification, sensitivity is 95 decibels, impedance is 16 ohms, so they require a bit more power, price is about $110 plus minus, links will be in the description and probably that's everything what I can say about them and let's have a closer look. Box is really simple, just recycled cardboard, nothing more. It looks like a contrast with typical FLC package, for their hybrid model they are creating more com complicated package. Inside you will have small visit card with information, with contact information of FLC. Case with accessories, we will open it a bit later. And earphones themselves. Let's move the box aside. And in plastic case, you will have nice set of tips. Same as uh, for their hybrid model. Gray one, white one. Gray one has a bit uh, narrower bores, but uh, difference isn't big. As you can see, shape is a bit unusual. They are a bit more extended. They are very soft and comfortable tips. I like them. So let's clean up a little bit everything here and proceed to the review. So in terms of design they really remind uh, models by Dita. Not absolutely close, but uh, pretty similar. Round shells made of aluminium, inner part is made of plastic. Nice long extended spout, fit is ok for me, but uh, I, I'm not sure that they will fit everyone, but for me fit is ok. Sound isolation is about average, protective grill and lip for holding the tips are present. Interesting design, nice build quality, so what you can expect for this in a monitor you will have. Cables are made replaceable, two pin connectors are used, pretty tight fitting connectors and cable. Cable is basic but act in terms of look, but it's pretty reliable, it's not getting hard when it's cold, it's a, a bit microphonic, it reminds actually typical cables by FLC, they are using the same approach even in their hybrid models, plastic splitter, small chin slider and it goes way down to the compact angle jack, so bare minimalism, build quality is nice, but you know, no fancy cable uh, braided and looking really expensive, no some rich materials, just uh, bare to the bones minimum that requires to build reliable and uh, comfortable in ear monitors. And of course about the sound, dynamic driver here require 5 or 6 hours of burn in and after that sound settles and of course it requires also finding a proper tips, because uh, 
without proper seal you will have uh, well not distorted sound but you will have uh, lacking bass and the bass here is the thing that you probably won't miss won't like to miss so player to show examples and let's speak about the sound in terms of signature it's a bright example of v-shaped signature really punchy weighty kicking bass with good depth with good resolution it's really good resolution even without uh, considering price range but it's not surprising because uh, flc hybrid models are tuned to be at maximum resolution tuned to be sounding a bit drier so it's no no surprise that they use similar dynamic driver in their models so a bit drier bass but really punchy with good body good weight good kick you with electronic music for example you will have this pleasant resonance and a lot of uh, weight load and body really good texture representation sometimes uh, acoustic instruments lacking a bit of weight in the lower register but it's just on rare instrumental records mainly in other cases you won't uh, face this issue most probably and as an example i will mention this track where it is no not this one it's Caravan Palace. Oh, really, I like this group. I really like this electro swing. I like uh, its, its mix of uh, modern electronic and vintage. And because it's a mix of these modern electronics, you will have nice engaging bass line with really, that goes really deep. And this in your monitors will play it at well but probably at full potential is proper words here mids are noticeably recessed and actually that's the main issue with this in-ear monitors because mids have uh, good resolution also a bit on drier side and a bit focused on the micro contrast but due to this uh, recession uh, they sounding sometimes a bit shallow and uh, a bit too distant it's not uh, common with all tracks but sometimes it, this happens but with many tracks you will have good resolution and uh, nice uh, instruments representation also because they are focused on the micro detailization they require some good record and if record is good they will reward you with uh, nice representation of all smallest nuances and so on imaginary stage is a bit above average in width and about average in depth so well pretty good for this price probably and as an example for the mid frequencies you've seen this track previously but it's enigma beyond the invisible classical enigma with uh, uh, with nice backing vocal with a prominent female main vocal line with a lot of three-dimensional effects really spacious really engaging representation and this in-ear monitors really suiting this track giving you well all the best uh, that they can do and treble treble is also accented for me it's okay but if you are sensitive to the to the high frequencies you need to listen that to them before buying because for people who are sensitive to the treble they can be sounding a bit too much for me they are not crossing this line but you know it's a subjective scene and uh, they have really good resolution and surprisingly good treble extension because well not because because of that uh, they offers really good uh, over amount of overtones and a lot of air a lot of uh, light decays and so on and as an example for the treble i've got another great track today all examples are my favorite tracks it's uh, arena one last au revoir I really like Arena and uh, my favorite uh, neo-progressive rock group and this track is perfect example of uh, music that is sophisticated and at the same time it's really enjoyable to listen it's not something like 
King Crimson where it's over sophisticated and you just need to follow all that movements that they play. It, it's uh, a well, probably simple, simpler in terms of composition and in terms of uh, sizes and so on. But at the same time, it's more enjoyable and more engaging, more um, sometimes more passionate. And uh, of course, as any good progressive rock group, Arena feels their music with a lot of uh, percussion, cymbals and so on. And this in your monitors play it in a really nice way. Speaking about pairing, they require a bit above average power, but I think all any single player that has at least 100 milliwatts for 32 ohms load will be enough. From other point of view, you from uh, background noise won't be an issue for you with them. So to summarize, Sonic part it's in your monitors tuned for those who like V-shaped signature with really weighty punchy kicking bass and crystal clear highlighted treble. And briefly about comparison, just a pair of models to serve as a reference point and of course one of them will be Austri KC09, its number one reference dynamic driver in ear monitors in this $100 uh, price range. But uh, Austri has more forward mids because they are a bit less V-shaped and at the same time Austria is a bit less resolving and a bit less uh, focused on the micro detailization. So they are a bit warmer, base is less uh, punchy but a bit more, well, probably a bit softer and a bit bigger. Mids are a bit warmer and a bit more forward and treble is a bit more polite. Not really polite but on the politer side. And uh, Weezer A15 Pro, another great example of uh, affordable, well-tuned single dynamic driver model. Weezer are totally neutral, linear. They are also a bit on the drier and resolving side of things, but they have less uh, bass and about same amount of treble so and a bit more forward mid, so they are tuned more linear and more neutral. So, a bit more forward mids, but a bit less punchy and uh, engaging bass. So it was FLC DD31, interesting dynamic driver model by pretty famous company. Thank you for attention.